Welcome back to CBS Sports HQ presented by GEICO. Of course, Nikola Jokic has been a huge name throughout the NBA Finals, but another center has proved to be just as crucial for his team. You're looking at him, Bam Adebayo. Bam is Miami's leading scorer and rebounder in the finals, all while defending the two-time MVP on the other end of the floor. Jimmy Butler singing his praises after Miami's Game 2 win on Tuesday, saying Bam is, quote, going to be the reason we win the championship. So some uh, high praise from Jimmy Buckets. So where does Bam stack up? For finals MVP. The latest odds have him third at plus 550. His stock has been on the rise after games one and two, only behind his teammate Jimmy Butler at plus 340, and then the odds on favorite Nikola Jokic at minus 255. And for more on this, we have the one, the only Tim Doyle joining us here on HQ. And Tim, when we've been talking about finals MVP all the way a couple of weeks ago, obviously two names have dominated the conversation, especially right now, Nikola Jokic and then Jimmy. But after the first two games in the finals, we have Bam. He's kind of coming into the conversation. His odds, you just saw it there at plus 550. You have the hammer out, Tim. Are you getting good value with this? Is this something we should hammer? Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of missed the boat, you know, before the series, the odds were a lot juicier. You could have got somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 to 1 before the series. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, thank you very much for the graphic there. Uh, so here's the, the fun <laughs> graphic. Look at this graphics department we have, okay? And now is now the time to jump in? Now, when I was in college, okay, many years ago, if I was late to the party, I would still try to play catch up, right? Jägermeister, tequila, all of a sudden I'm out of the dance floor. And what would happen is, I would blow past everybody with trying to play catch up. I, even though you're late to the party, I think there's still value here. Now, it reminds me a ton of Andre Iguodala a few years back when he won the MVP. And coming into that series against LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers, he was 40 to 1. Now, this is what everyone remembers when LeBron blocked his shot. But in that series, I didn't block a shot on that play. Uh, he basically held LeBron to, you know, astronomical numbers. But the fact that he was matched up against LeBron, I believe built his case to win MVP. And I remember Steph and Clay were on that team, but the fact that he matched up with LeBron, I think helped his stock to win the award. My point is, who's Bam being matched up with? Kola Jokic. Now, I think Jokic has proved in this postseason that he should have been the regular season MVP. So the fact that Bam is sort of kind of going toe to toe with the best player in the world, I think is only going to help his stock. So Jimmy Butler in this series is averaging less than 20 points. He's shooting below 40%. So like the fact that ba it's Bam versus Jokic, that's only going to help him. So Jacqueline, I know you're a little late to the party right now. and We're not going to be doing belly shots on this show, but I still <laughs> think there's value with Bam out of bio. To be clear, I'd never mentioned belly shots, like literally ever. So I don't know. That came out of left field. Um, all right, Tim, moving on. We're going to talk about the prop market for game three and for the Miami side first. So you're liking Gabe Vincent. What do you like for him? Wildly consistent. I, I think that uh, the Heat figured something out with Denver in the second half. My biggest question mark with the Nuggets all year, Jack, was not about offense. Great offense team. Defense. Second half Miami against Denver. 60 points. Now, Gabe Vincent could dribble. He can dance. Shakes his shoulders a little bit. But he can put it and get people in the pick and roll. And that's the biggest thing with Denver. They have subpar defenders. Michael Porter Jr., subpar. Jamal Murray, average. Cole Jokic, yeah, right around average as well. So, Gabe Vincent could dance. You see him creating space there on the pick and roll. This number, I think, should be 15 and a half, maybe even 16. Have you checked out what the Heat have done in game three throughout the postseason? Whacked all of their opponents, and Vincent has been wildly consistent. So maybe this is kind of giving away the lead of who my pick is going to be. But uh, Gabe Vincent is going to eat in this game. And I, my son, his name is Vince. And we're going to call him Vince the Prince, who ironically was a guy who used to go into my dad's bar and like had a horrible reputation. But if LeBron is the king, then Vince can be the prince. Okay, I'm trying to, like, connect all the dots here. Um, anyways, Gabe Vincent, he had 23 points in game two. All right, switching to the other side for the Nuggets. Uh, for the top prop for them, you like Nicole Jokic over 28 and a half points, Tim. They have no answer. You know, this guy is the best player in the world right now, and they're throwing the kitchen sink at him, meaning we're going to double him. Okay, he's got a 14 assist and a triple-double. All right, we're going to play him straight up. 
Uh, he's going to have 41. Uh, he basically proved in the first two games uh, he could do whatever he wants. So it's just like I look at his prop, 28 and a half. I've even seen that 29 and a half. If you can get a 28 and a half, jump in now. Um, the guy is amazing. There's no other way to say it. And he gets away with basically walking and being physical and bully ball. And that's fine. When you're the best player in the NBA, you deserve to get away with all that. He like throws Zeller out of the way and there's like no fouls throughout the game. Like, and, and that's fine. That's what the NBA does. It promotes its stars. But he proved to me in the first two games. Remember in game number one, he like barely shot the ball and he came right around that number, ended up with 27 points. Um, if you bet under, Nikola Jokic, you go to weddings and you root for divorce. You root for famine. Like, you don't say hi to your neighbors. I have a neighbor. I'm not going to name his name. His name is Bill. I wave. He doesn't wave back. Like, so I finally had to approach her. I go, hey, Bill, we may live across the street from each other for like the next 20 years. I'm going to wave. And a head nod's not good enough. I'm going to need a wave back. So, Tim, you're saying your neighbors bet the under when it comes to the Joker. Is that is that the message here? Okay. Exactly. Uh, exactly. <laughs> okay, so the Nuggets are favored for game three at uh, minus two and a half. The Heat, I mean, I feel like they like being in that underdog spot. Uh, they beat Denver as eight and a half point dogs in game two. The total now sitting at 214. What is your best bet? Yeah, I love the Heat in this game. I repeat, I love the Heat in this game. Forget about the spread. Forget about it. Give me the heat on the money line. We are going to get the real money in this game with the plus odds with the heat. Throw it in a little parlay. That's what always makes the parlay a little bit spicy right now. The second half of Denver, that was the series. You went and scored 60 against the Nuggets. You know how many games the Nuggets have lost in the postseason? Zero. And they were up double digits. And if you were watching that game, eyeball test, the game looked over in the second quarter. And Miami just figured out a way. And in the fourth quarter, their first 10 shots, they made nine of them. So, uh, Struz started off the game, finally made some shots with his I don't care, but I care a lot beard, which means he doesn't care to shave it, but he perfectly manicures it in an amazing way. Him, Duncan Robinson, Caleb Martin, all those guys finally started to make some shots. The Heat in game threes. I mean, are you not entertained? They beat up on Milwaukee. They beat up on the Knicks. And then last out in game number three, when they had a 2-0 lead against the Celtics, they embarrassed the Celtics. So game number threes, have been their number. So I actually, they should be two and a half. I would lay three and a half with the Heat. That's how confident I am. Hammer the Heat at home. All right, Tim Doyle, you know when he whips out the hammer and the money bag, it's kind of a done deal. He means business. Tim, thank you so much for joining us in the heart as well. We had to top it off with three. We always see three big things, whether it's like the hammer, the money bag, a shoe. It's we, game three. Yeah. It, it all works. Yeah. yeah, so we got the the love sign in there. He's loving uh these props, Gabe Vincent over 13 and a half points, the Joker over 28 and a half points. That's his best prop bet for Denver. And then he has taken the Heat money line for game three. And make sure you check out the early edge. Our crew is giving you picks in a fast, easy, informative way. You can download and follow the early edge wherever you find your pods, or you can scan that QR code and watch the Sportsline YouTube channel.